Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Trent. And I'm Chase. We're brothers. And we believe that making makes life better. Welcome to Case Maker. You driving the train today? Do we have a train? No. I see you're making fun of my cell phone and safety glass retention system. Well, I hope you brought your safety glasses because we're going to need them today. Let's make it up. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, as rock and roll and folk music began to grow in popularity, and Elvis Presley was using the Gibson model LG1 guitar in many of his movies, there was a huge increase in demand at Gibson. So to meet that demand, Gibson started doing some things to make production more efficient. One of the things they did is rather than using the popular X bracing, where the supports cross the guitar this way, they started using ladder bracing, which saved on some production time. The other thing they did is in the LG1 guitars from 1960 to 65, they used a plastic bolt-on bridge. This is a 1965 LG1, and you can see that over time, the plastic has begun to fail. It is cracking and warping. So we are going to replace the bridge with a wooden one. Now, what a lot of luthiers would do is just hand shape one of these, make one by hand, fill some of the, the, uh, the bolt holes, screw holes in the guitar top, and then glue the new bridge on. What we are gonna do is use our CNC machine to actually recreate this entire piece out of ebony. So I created a 2D version of both sides of the new piece in a graphic design program. We imported those vectors into the design software for the CNC Vectric VCarve Pro. We applied the tool paths and we rendered the image in 3D to double check it before sending to the CNC. We've made ourselves a jig out of some scrap plywood. Now we're drilling pilot holes so that we can flip this thing over and line everything up and cut both sides. So we have our ebony blank. We're going to be cutting on our Laguna 4x8 CNC. We've modified the table to put a jig so that we can hold this down rather than using the vacuum table, uh, which will not work for a small part like this. So we've cut out the top side of our part. We're going to flip this over, cut out the back side. So we've just finished cutting out our part with the CNC. We've left some tabs on there. I'm gonna to need to cut those off. And then I've got some contouring to do with the sander. And then we should be able to put it on our guitar and put it back together. Unfortunately, I don't have a second mortgage on a fancy commercial sander. So I'm gonna be using this old one to shape this into something a little more like this. Okay, that is pretty close to what I want. I may, um, I may polish it with some steel wool or with my Dremel but I think we're just about ready to put it back on this guitar and see how it works. Well, all right, I've got the new bridge on. I also, while I was at it, I made a new saddle out of water buffalo horn. I ordered some new uh, ebony pegs. We're gonna replace all these old plastic parts with new wooden parts and horn parts. And hopefully not only will it hold up now, but it will sound better too. So we'll get some strings on it and see how it works. Do Freebird! Woo!
We're not really using that one. <laughs> that was an outfit. <laughs> you have to watch Brad Paisley and Peyton Manning. Oh.